What if I told you that China just unlocked an energy source so powerful it could provide 60,000 years of clean, limitless energy, completely transforming how humanity powers the world? It sounds like science fiction, right? But this technology is real. And like we've seen with many new emerging technologies, China is leading the charge and developing something so profound, it's going to change the entire future of humanity. This new technology is thorium nuclear reactors, a breakthrough that could revolutionize energy production as we know it. Unlike traditional nuclear power, which relies on unstable uranium and plutonium, thorium is safer, more abundant, and incapable of producing nuclear weapons. And while nuclear fusion energy could still be decades away from being viable, Thorium reactors are here now, ready to scale and disrupt the global energy industry. And this follows an already growing trend. When a game-changing new technology emerges, China is leading the charge, and thorium is no exception. Last year, Beijing approved construction of the world's first ever thorium molten salt reactor plant in the Gobi Desert. The reactor is scheduled to be completed and operational in 2029, generating heat at a maximum power of 60 megawatts. While the U.S. is still stuck in the planning phase, modeling theoretical designs and debating feasibility, China is making it a reality. And this is just the beginning. In its 14 five-year plan, from 2021 to 2025, China outlined an aggressive nuclear expansion strategy, 150 new reactors in the next 15 years, aiming for 200 gigawatts of nuclear power by 2035, enough to power over a dozen cities the size of Beijing with 30 reactors already under construction and plans to add six to eight more annually. In the past decade, China has nearly tripled its nuclear capacity, achieving in 10 years what took the U.S. nearly 40 years. China has once again proven that it is the first mover when it comes to scaling next-generation technologies. In today's video, we're going to break down this world-changing energy breakthrough, what it means for China's dominance in critical resource development, and how it fits into the broader trend of Beijing taking the lead on emerging technologies. Buckle up, because this is the future of energy. Thorium truly lives up to its namesake Thor, the Norse god of thunder, offering a powerful yet controlled energy source that could reshape the future of nuclear power. Unlike conventional uranium reactors, which operate under extreme pressure and carry the ever-present risk of catastrophic meltdowns, thorium reactors are inherently safe and here's how it works. They run at low pressure, eliminating the possibility of a reactor explosion. Thorium is dissolved in molten salt and heated to 1400 degrees Celsius. Neutrons trigger a chain reaction, converting thorium into uranium-233, a potent nuclear fuel. Heat generated from fission powers turbines, producing vast amounts of clean electricity. But the advantages don't stop there. Thorium can generate 200 times more energy than the traditional uranium-232. Thorium reactors also generate significantly less nuclear waste than traditional uranium-based reactors. And even the byproducts can be recycled for further energy use. And perhaps most critically, thorium cannot be weaponized. This is nuclear energy that cannot be turned into nuclear warheads. Therefore, it is the most secure and scalable nuclear power source ever developed. Once the first thorium reactor is completed in 2029, China has huge plans for the technology. Starting from 2030, China will begin constructing commercial modular thorium-based reactors with an electrical generation capacity of 100 megawatts or more. These smaller reactors will be able to be completely integrated into smart grids with other renewable energy sources. Chinese shipbuilders have also recently unveiled the world's first design for a giant container ship powered by this molten salt reactor. Some transport experts believe it could start a new revolution in human logistics. Now, the recent buzz around thorium has come after a recent Chinese survey found massive thorium deposits at the Bayan Obu mining complex. If fully exploited, this mine alone could yield 1 million tons of thorium, enough to fuel China for 60,000 years. Just five years of mining, what was previously considered waste from a single iron ore site in Inner Mongolia contains enough thorium to meet U.S. household energy demands for more than 1,000 years. The geologist goes on to say an impactful statement about the discovery. For over a century, nations have been engaging in wars over fossil fuels. It turns out that the endless energy sources lies right underneath our feet. With this discovery, China has secured the future of clean, sustainable energy and virtually inexhaustible energy. A total of 233 thorium-rich zones have been mapped across the country, forming a national energy shield 
that guarantees China's rise as the global energy superpower. As we know, thorium isn't just the only game-changing resource beneath China's feet. Just when it seemed like China's grip on rare earth metals couldn't get any stronger, this latest discovery cements its dominance even further. Hundreds of thousands of tons of thorium have been added to China's strategic resource reserves where it already dominated the process from mining to refining all the way through manufacturing, not only strengthening its control over global markets, but also eliminating any dependence on foreign nations for critical materials. Nowhere is this self-sufficiency more apparent than in rare earth minerals, the backbone of modern technology. China already controls 60% of global rare earth production, but even more importantly, it processes 90% of the world's supply, making it almost impossible for the West to break its stranglehold on the industry. And now with thorium on the table, Beijing is securing its next great energy breakthrough. What we are witnessing with China's latest discovery adds a tremendous amount of momentum to one of the biggest trends of the year so far, the global battle for minerals and precious metals. There is a reason why Donald Trump wants Ukraine to sign a lucrative minerals deal. There is a reason why Donald Trump has threatened to annex Greenland, a fellow NATO country. And there is a reason why China is going all in on thorium. Whoever controls the flow of precious metals and resources is going to have a tremendous amount of global influence in the future. Now, if you've been watching the gold markets in recent months, things are heating up tremendously. Gold just traded over $3,000 an ounce for the first time in history a couple days ago. And the precious metal has been been soaring over the past 12 months, up over 38%, and most likely continuing to rise in the future as market unsecurity drives fear into the market. Given the current geopolitical climate in the world, I think it's an amazing time to look into gold, and the chart I'm about to show you comes from today's video sponsor, Rua Gold, which trades under the ticker NZAUF. The share is down 30% this past year and 54% since July. But just recently, the company's largest individual shareholder, Oliver Lennox King, who serves as chairman and owns nearly 9% of the company, invested another 1 million Canadian at these current price levels. Rua Gold CEO is Robert Eckford. Before becoming the CEO of Rua Gold, he co-founded Eris Mining, another gold producer, and was earning a base salary of 44,000 US dollars a month and had an equity stake worth nearly 300,000 US dollars a year. He gave up his $525,000 annual salary to earn a third of that with Rua Gold because he is betting that his equity holdings with Rua will make him a fortune. These aren't just my words, but his. And it's not just him. He is joined by an incredible board and management team who together have raised over $2 billion in capital, built eight mines, and sold these companies for over $11 billion. Now they are solely focused on New Zealand, and ready to do it again. But here's where things get interesting and where the opportunity in the market exists. Gold is at all-time highs in the Euro, British Pound, Japanese Yen, Chinese Yen, Australian Dollar, Canadian Dollar, and the US Dollar is nearing its peak. But despite this, the GDXJ Index, which is a fund composed of junior gold miners, is still down more than 66% from its peak in 2011. Rua Gold just raised another 5.75 million Canadian dollars, and I want to share with you four compelling reasons you should be conducting more research on Rua Gold. Number one, jurisdiction. Right now, there is a gold rush underway in New Zealand. The country just passed a fast-track program to permit mining operations across the country in less than six months after decades of anti-mining laws. They have also introduced a critical minerals list which includes gold and antimony. Number two, bullish government. New Zealand's resource minister Shane Jones just attended the 2025 PDAC in Toronto, the biggest mining conference in the world. He presented alongside Rua Gold Management's team to a group of leading mining investors, encouraging them to, and I quote, develop New Zealand's gifts endowed upon the land from Mother Nature. Number three, insider ownership. As you can see, shares of Rua Gold are owned by Eric Sprott, Peter Marone, Oliver Lennox King, the company's chairman and largest shareholder, and Robert Eckford, the company's CEO, who owns over 400,000 shares, all purchased in the open market. Together, this team has put eight mines into production while working for previous employers. And number four is the gold quality. Rua Gold's land package has already historically produced over 1 million ounces of gold at an average of 20 grams per ton, which is 20 times the global production rate of one gram per ton. Rua Gold's business model is to consolidate the historical gold mines at the Reefton Gold Mine, located at New Zealand's South Island, explore them, and ultimately bring them back to production if all goes well. As of right now, the company owns seven past producing mines, 
and long-term viewers of this channel know that I've been very bullish on gold for many years now. And I think it's the perfect time to conduct your own due diligence and research more about real gold for yourself. I'll include links to the investor presentation and company profile in the description below. As always, please do your own research and contact your financial advisor before making any investments. But I want to thank Rua Gold for sponsoring today's important video about China's game-changing thorium discovery, because this discovery isn't just about market dominance. It's about energy security. For years, China has heavily relied on imports to meet its energy needs, including oil from the Middle East, which remains vulnerable to U.S. naval blockades in a potential conflict. Even with its close partnership with Russia, energy dependence has been a key strategic concern for Beijing. But with thorium technology now within reach, China is well on its way to achieving true energy independence. China has just unlocked one of the most revolutionary energy breakthroughs in history, a discovery that could reshape global energy markets, eliminate dependence on fossil fuels, and cement Beijing as the world energy superpower. With an almost limitless supply of thorium buried beneath its own soil, China is now on the path to true energy independence, breaking free from its reliance on foreign oil and gas imports while securing its dominance over the future of clean energy. With massive investments in nuclear energy, rare earth minerals, and fusion research, China is proving once again that it is the first mover when it comes to building the infrastructure of the future. While the West remains stuck in theoretical debates, Beijing is taking action, scaling game-changing technologies that will define the next century. The world's energy order is changing fast. The only question that remains is who will be left behind. Everyone, as always, I want to thank you for your amazing support and thank you for making it to this point in the video. I look forward to seeing you all in our next one soon.